Hello guys, welcome back to PCBW channel. This is Scarlett. This is Leslie. Hope everyone enjoys our show so far and please don't hesitate to interact with us. You can tell us what would you want to see in the future or just leave a comment below. Yes, our audience are always our priority. Scarlett, this week our topic is keyboard. And we know that uh, keyboard is very essential in our daily life. Yes, I agree. I use keyboard daily for my work. Yes, and they are also important for game lovers. Although there are many keyboards on the market, but nothing compares to the one that you make for yourself. Definitely, and in today's show, we'll introduce many projects where makers share how they add creativity to their own keyboards. Cool, let's get started. <laughs> First project of today, I'd love to introduce this DIY Stream Deck designed by Alex from Super Make Something. This device is a micro keyboard with an LCD screen behind the buttons, which allows users to program custom shortcuts to control the stream software and various other applications. This macro keyboard looks so cool and Alec is so nice that he made this project open source and beginner friendly. Exactly! It has 6 programmable keys and 2 rotary encoders. In this project, he used a 3.5 inch color LCD screen and an Arduino Pro microcontroller. The best part is the cost of everything is transparent, so everybody can see all the expenses for all the components. After a fancy stream deck, let's see something cute. This is a Raspberry Pi quality USB keyboard. It is very tiny. Yes, I can see that. It is very portable and can be put into a small box and carry around. Very impressive. I can already imagine myself using this keyboard in a cafe using my tablet. I'm sure this is an air catcher. Definitely. My fave maker Sean had this DIY RGB Cherry MX macro keypad with HCC module. Very nice. Sean designed this PCB for this keyboard and it's available on our PCBWay website. Exactly. So if you want to make this keyboard, you can directly buy the PCB from our website and make your own one. In this project, Sean 3D printed the case for his keyboard and assembled it with RGB. The finished work is very neat and pretty. Another great DIY macro pad we want to share is by Daihuku Keyboard. Leslie, can you introduce this project to our audience? Sure! This 4x4 keypad was designed small and compact. It also has LED lights. In addition, a rotary encoder is also installed. One cool thing about this project is that you can design your own keycap for this keypad. In this way, you can program those keycaps into shortcuts that suit yourself. Yes, this is the best part of the other project, uniqueness. Yes, those keycap design look so good. David from Deadlab Tech has great videos on making keyboard. In his tutorial, he showed how he used mechanical switches and Arduino and PCB to make a 4x4 keypad for his CNC machine. This PCB is designed in a way that could support different uses. David uses it for his CNC machine, but it can also be used as a media input or for audio automation. Yes, the DIY keyboard is so cool because the makers can program it in the way they like. Yes, David also shared the whole programming process in detail, so everyone can check by clicking the link in the description below. David also had a super cool Arduino keyboard with 68 keys, and he designed a PCB with PCB Way. This board is just beautiful. Looking good. DIY keyboard is always special. Scarlett, let's have a look at this orange keyboard made out of acrylic and walnut. This keyboard has 60 keys and the maker Hadi designed the board beautifully. Obviously, Hadi's biggest hobby is making keyboards and his design looks so creative and original. I agree. He added walnut to the keyboard, giving it a wooden texture which looks very cool. I enjoy watching this video. Hedy is very funny and it resonates with me when he saw the sound of typing is fascinating. I would highly recommend everyone to watch his video. It's like watching a stand-up comedy. I want to introduce this very simple and easy to assemble micro keyboard by our close friend ElectroPoint. 
Nice, this is a good starter for DIY lovers. This keypad has nine keys and is built on Atmega 328P. Yes, everything is designed with great compactness. That's all the project for today's topic. I enjoyed it very much. Once again, I was amazed by our PCBWare's creativity. I know, I couldn't agree more. And my favorite one is the mini USB keyboard made by Peter because it's both cute and portable. Yes. I hope our audience also enjoy today's content and take inspiration from it. Great, that's a wrap for today. Go for innovation. We will account for implementation. Bye-bye.